2014 Artists on the Verge project is Every year we've given this award out, the artist has gone on to bigger and better things, and I have no doubt that this group is going to do the same. We are Van Lady Love from Provo, Utah. I'm Travis and I sing in the band. My name's Caleb and I play some auxiliary instruments, guitar, mandolin, synths. My name is Steel Salduri and I play bass guitar and bass synth. My name's Jordan Clark, I play guitar. I'm John Buckner and I play skins. Uh, we were just excited to be invited to the New Music Seminar and be on the top 100 list. And then they announced us at the top three and we were like, well, that's, that's amazing, you know, that's, that's as good as it gets. And then, well, now we won. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a little surreal, honestly. Uh, it's, uh, it's very exciting and I think that uh, it's a lot, of, a lot of road ahead of us for this band. <laughs> So there was a selection process for this list. There wasn't taking submissions. They um, narrowed it down from bands all over the country down to a top 100. Um, they took things into account like sales data, social media analytics, and they analyzed the songs to see if they thought that there was um, any marketability in the music. So they, they chose us. I, uh, I guess they analyzed Van Love and, and felt that we belonged in the top 100 list. Um, and then through further analysis, decided that uh, top three. Now we're top one. And now we're the winners! The winnings is uh, $100,000 worth of prizes. Um, from gear to recording to uh, mastering to marketing to, uh, you know, just you name it. There's just so many things that are going to help us make it to that next level. And uh, I think one of the biggest prizes was that we were announced the winner in front of like the top ARs in the country. So that's awesome. Van Lady Love actually uh, came about because uh, a couple members, Caleb and Travis, uh, actually got together. They, they formed the band, uh, decided that they probably had a good thing going, and uh, from there on, they started kind of piecing together the band. I was really good friends with Caleb growing up. In fact, we were best friends growing up as kids. Uh, I was living out in L.A. at the time. He invited me to move home to Utah from L.A. Utah. Uh, he kind of convinced me. I took him up on it. When I got there, we showed up at the first practice. Uh, Steel was there. Uh, we, we felt the, the real chemistry and uh, uh, we decided that we were going to keep going with it. Eventually, we picked up John here and it's been pretty magical ever since. I've uh, been writing a lot of songs, been really getting tight as a band, and really just building the relationship and, and making sure that, that what we're doing is working. And it's working. <laughs> it's working. It's working. Every artist doesn't really like to classify themselves in a certain genre. Um, but uh, I mean, I'd say we're along the lines of rock, pop, indie. Um, I mean, we could play shows with uh, Arctic Monkeys to The Killers to Imagine Dragons to Bastille. Um, I would say just in that pop vein, but still very, uh, we want to stay pretty rock and roll as well. We have a music video called Neverland. Um, on YouTube that you can watch. Um, we did it completely independently. It's um, down in southern Utah. It's really beautiful. It's kind of a concept video where the people are going through doors and um, it's really cinematic and uh, it's on YouTube. We got about 200,000 views after eight months. So there's been a lot of support, a lot of fans that really helped us out. And uh, it's been really touching to see the response from little children singing the song, up to teenagers, adults, older people. It's been really, really cool. The name of our band, Van Lady Love, comes from we were producing our first song, Neverland, um, and Jordan was doing some experimentation with the production and reversing some of the um, signal to kind of see what it sounded like. And as he started kind of chopping it up, he noticed that right in the bridge, he heard this like, Van Lady Love, Van, Van Lady Love, and he's like, soloed it out. And it was ne Fly Away to Neverland backwards actually sounded like Van Lady Love. Which is the hook in the song, Fly Away to Neverland. It just so happened that Van Lady Love backwards was Fly Away to Neverland, and vice versa. For a big music video. They so it, was, it was super random, like, that's the weirdest thing. Right? Decided to weirdest go with thing? It. <laughs> well, this summer we've got a Beatles tribute show we're playing. We're doing a lot of county fairs this summer. Um, hopefully, 
you know, with all this hype, you know, some, something bigger comes along by the fall, you know? That's, I mean, we've, I been we've been working really hard for a couple of years and, and rewriting and reworking on things and developing our sound and, and bouncing it off other people and co-writing. And we, we want to get to the place where, you know, we can have a sound that's, that's right for big stages and we're hoping to build a team around us. They can help us get on big stages. They can help us, uh, you know, get our sound on the radio and get out there. And so, you know, right now it's uh, team building time for us. Our new EP actually, uh, we just, just released it. It's called Love Matter. Uh, we're super proud of it. It's a really fun EP. And uh, you guys should check it out. Uh, go to vanladylove.com and, and you can find the link there to download it. iTunes, Spotify. iTunes, Spotify. We're all over. Amazon. Amazon. That's Google Amazon. Play. The, the ironic thing is we were actually reached out by a couple major and indie labels before we were going to announce this list, which was really exciting. So when uh, we got announced, we obviously wanted to kind of just wait off to see what happened with this competition to, to kind of decide what our options were. So now that now that we've uh, won this contest in front of every almost every major label in the world, basically, um, I think a lot of doors are going to open for us. And, and now we're just going to kind of see what makes the best sense. We haven't we haven't decided independent or a label. Um, it's really just in today's day and era, it's it's such a, anyone's game that we'll just have to see what makes the most sense for our goals to accomplish those. Yeah, and all, along that line, um, you know, I, I had uh, drummed for some some other major bands and kind of seen the path of where, where they went and how they got to where they are. And uh, when I met these guys, I think the most important thing about this band that I've seen is the connection with the fans. Uh, we connect with fans in a way that I've never experienced before, and it's, it's about the music, it's about the songs that these guys, you know, Jordan, Caleb have written, Travis's vocals, me and, me and Steele hold it down, hold it, you know, and we bring something that I think is different and unique that people haven't experienced before. I mean, it's, it's very unique. When I heard, the first time I heard of that Van Lady Love, I thought they were a cover band, but they weren't. I went to their show and I went, oh, there's some magic, real magic here and we just kind of took that magic and amplified it. And, uh, and I'm just grateful to be a part of something that's so real and so meaningful and that connects with people in a way and touches them, it moves them. We actually have a song called Moves Me, so when you hear that tonight, if you come to the show, I think people are, are gonna hear something special tonight, you know, and, and we're excited to play it. We have Van Lady Love, and you're watching Rock This. Rock this.